Gentlemen, you wanna make sure that the jacket and trousers you're gonna be steaming and pressing is free from stains and dirt. Heat and steam can sometimes permanently set a stain. So you wanna make sure to spot clean any dirty spots before exposing it to the heat. Only use distilled water in your steamer jets. Tap water can leave sediment buildup. You'll steam the jacket in sections, pulling the fabric taut before pressing the steamer head to the fabric. Slowly move the steamer in an up and down motion. If the wrinkles aren't coming out, you may be moving the steamer too quickly. Be careful not to oversteam. Using an excess amount of steam around the seams can cause them to lose their shape. Overall, steaming is an excellent method to get rid of wrinkles. There's very little risk in damaging your jacket and trousers. If you're ironing wool fabric, use a low heat setting. Gentlemen, I recommend using a pressing cloth to avoid damaging this delicate fabric. A simple white cotton sheet works perfectly. Use the press method instead of sliding the iron like you would for a dress shirt. So press the iron evenly on top of the fabric for a few seconds, then pick it straight up and move to another spot. Sliding the iron back and forth can lead to shiny marks on the fabric. A jacket is rather difficult to iron, especially around the shoulders. I highly recommend only pressing the areas that really need attention, like the back, the elbows, the parts of the front that have a bit of wrinkles, and leaving the rest to a professional. To iron the back of the jacket, lay it out flat on the ironing board. Smooth out the fabric so you will not make any creases. Carefully press out the wrinkles by setting the iron straight down and picking it up again before moving to a new spot. Again. Focus only on the wrinkled areas. When ironing over the vents, make sure they're aligned properly. When it comes to the sleeves, only iron in the middle of the sleeve. If you press on the edges, you'll form a crease. While this may look great on a dress shirt, it's undesirable on a jacket. Be careful around the jacket lapels. This is another area where you don't want to create a crease. If you need to iron the lapels, go over them gently with the iron. Ironing the pockets. You want to make sure the pocket lining isn't wrinkled. If you have close fitting trousers, the wrinkled pockets can show through the fabric. A quick pass with the iron will solve this problem. The top of the trousers. Pull the lining out of the front pocket. Press the top of the trousers, being careful around pleats and other folds, and then move towards the seat of the trousers. Pull out the back pocket and press around it. Then finish up by pressing the waistband, being careful around buttons and belt loops. You will now work to form the crease. Lay your trousers out flat. You will work on one leg at a time. Flip the leg you aren't working on over the end of the board. You will make sure the seams of the pants are lined up properly in the middle. Smooth the fabric with your hands before ironing to ensure there aren't any large folds. Press the iron at the edge of the cuff on one side, then repeat the step on the other side. You will now do the same thing at the top of the trouser legs, making sure the seams are lined up in the center and then gently press a crease on each side of the leg. You will form the crease roughly six inches below the waistband. You don't want a crease that goes all the way to the top. The bottom of the pockets on the inside is a good stopping point. Now that you have the beginning and end points for your crease in place, you will now travel down the pant leg, gently pressing the crease all the way along the leg. Make sure you're setting the iron straight down, then picking it straight up again. You don't want to press and slide the iron along the fabric. Now that the creases are in place, you can focus on removing any wrinkles present in the middle of the trouser leg. Use the same technique, setting down and picking up the iron to remove any wrinkles along the fabric. You don't need to iron both sides of the same leg. Pressing one side is enough. It's time to repeat the process on the other leg. Flip the trousers over and go through each step again. If you find that the front and seat of the trousers require a little extra attention, you can slip the pants over the end of the ironing board and give them a quick press. 